In this lecture, we'll study about the concept of character constants and how to construct them. In the previous lectures, we have already seen the concept of other constants like integer constants, real constants, or floating point constants. The link of those videos is given in the description box. So let's start with the rules for constructing character constants. The first rule is a character constant is a single alphabet, a single digit, or a single special symbol enclosed within single inverted commas. So this is a very important rule to remember. Whenever we are declaring or defining any character constant, it should always enclosed inside single quotes. The second rule is both the inverted commas should point to the left. So as we can see in this example, this is a valid character constant. We can see both the inverted commas are pointing towards the left, whereas this is an example of invalid character constant because of these inverted commas. And finally, we have taken three examples of character constants. So the first one is alphabet A, second one is alphabet I, third one is digit 5. As we have enclosed all of them inside single quotes, they become characters. Let's see a C program to understand how to define character constants. So here I'm starting my program with a single line comment. C program to define character constants. Then comes the preprocessor directive. So here, first of all, I'm making use of hash include preprocessor directive, which is including standard input output header file. This is the first way of defining character constant. That is by making use of hash defined preprocessor directive. If you're following this way, we have to start with hash define, then the name of the character constant, then comes the value of the character constant. Again, as we have seen in the rules for giving the value of the character constant, we have to always enclose it inside single quotes. This is a main function. The return type of the main function is int, that is integer. As int is a return type, we have to end this main function by putting return zero statement. Opening curly brace indicates the beginning of the function. In a similar way, the closing curly brace indicates the end of the main function. Inside this main function, we are using the second way of defining character constants. That is by making use of const keyword. So whenever we are following this way, we have to start with keyword const. Then comes the data type. So for character constant, the data type is char. Then the name of the character constant. So here, the name is gender. This is an assignment operator. So to this character constant, we are assigning value m. As m is a character constant, again, we have to enclose it inside single quotes. And finally, the semicolon indicates the end of this statement. On the next line, we're just trying to print the value of letter. So for printing this value, inside double quotes, we are providing the format string. We are starting with some meaningful message here. So value of letter. Person C indicates character constant. In the previous lectures, we have seen for integer constants, we are using person D. For real constants, we are using person F. In a similar way, for character constants, we are using person C. Then we have to provide a comma, after which the name of the character constant comes. This is the end of printf function. On the next line, we are trying to print the value of the second character constant, that is gender. We are following the same way. But here, we are preceding this message with backslash n. Backslash n indicates new line. After completing the program, we need to save it first. So here, I have already saved this program with this name. Dot C indicates the C program file. Let's go to the execute option for compiling it first. So as we can see here, this program has zero errors and zero warnings. Let's run the code. So this is the output of this program. The first one is value of letter. So as we can see here, the value is H. Second is value of gender. That is M. So in this lecture, we have covered the concept of character constants. In the next lecture, we'll see the concept of variables in C. Thank you.